guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video we are doing a spring decorate with me now from my style changing since we moved in to our new house I'm going for more of a minimal look so today's spring decorate with me is going to look quite different than it normally does. I usually incorporate so many Easter decorations in this year that is just not my style. So I hope that you guys still enjoy these simple touches of spring. I did recently pick up these new canisters. These are from At Home. I got them from a local garage sale and I absolutely love them. I'm just going to take these blue beaded garlands and I'm going to add those to the canisters to give it a slight pop of color for springtime. For this little white pot, I am just adding some very dainty white flowers, again to add a little touch of spring to this area as well. I really like to keep vinegar in here because we use it a lot in our kitchen, especially for cleaning. So I am just going to fill that up. And then I am actually going to take one of my glass jars that I had and I'm going to fill it up with some water. We are going to be using faux flowers, but I feel like it just adds that little detail, makes it look more real. And I just love the way that it turned out. It all just a dream, just all in my head. Floating rivers upstream, the things that you said. Tell me I'm being honest. Tell me, did you know that you would be leaving me just like the This vase and these stems are from Target. I will have them linked down below for you guys along with as much as I can from the rest of the video. So make sure to check down there if you see anything you like in today's video.
four o'clock in the evening I haven't left my room But the truth is If I'm honest I feel stuck here in the middle Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? This adorable wooden stand is from Hobby Lobby and I immediately fell in love with it. It is perfect for your kitchen sink area. It holds all of our soaps and counter sprays that we use on a daily basis. I could not be more in love and it is such an affordable price. to show you guys this package that we got in the mail for our laundry room so this is a cat litter box enclosure and we have been loving it so much it was very simple to put together it took about 20 minutes which was not bad at all we couldn't stand looking at her litter box every single time we went into the laundry room to do laundry or walk to our closet I am so happy that it is enclosed in this pretty wooden box. It is definitely a lot more aesthetically pleasing and it also really helps mask the smell. We do have a self-cleaning litter box, which we love and have had for almost a year, if not longer than a year. I will have this link down below for you guys if you are interested. If you are cat parents, I highly recommend one of these. And I actually took it to the next step because you guys know me, I am very extra, especially when it comes to being a pet parent. So I actually went on Amazon and I got a motion activated light and I put one on top of the enclosure so that when she walks into it, it'll turn on and she won't have to go to the bathroom in the dark. Now I know this is not a must, but I felt bad. So I went ahead and got her one and it's so awesome. When I walk by the box, it actually turns on. So she seems to be loving it. She gets in and out of it completely fine. You can see that our self-cleaning litter box fits perfect in here. 
and then Curtis went and got her to make sure she could fit through the little hole and she did she was a little concerned why we were trying to put her in there at first but it has been over a month and she really does like it so it was a success. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. That is all I have for you. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye, stay marvelous.